Hello, Cyclocross friends, and welcome back to Cyclocross Television. For today's show, we are in Rochester, New York, for the first UCIC1 event of the year, and we are focusing in on the women's pro race. On the line for this one are Carolyn Money and Becca Faringer, who already notched early wins at Virginia's Blue Ridge Go Cross last weekend. Also on the line are perennial Rochester favorites Magley Rochette, Ellen Noble, and Katie Keogh. As the whistle blows, we are on board with Noble and Mani to capture the chaos of the pack at the start of the race. Noble grabs the whole shot with Rochette right on her wheel and Mani lurking not far behind. Just after the first turn, and Mani isn't waiting for an invitation as she goes straight to the front. Already strung out, the field comes into the first tricky off-camera section with Mani leading. Noble is in the second spot with Rochette in third. Behind her are Keo and young gun Clara Hansinger. Ruby West, Nat Redmond, Jen Jackson slot into the fifth through seventh spots with Faringer sitting in eighth. Back at the front and it's Noble taking over the lead in front of Mani as the field heads towards the steep up before heading to the jungle section of the track. At the apex of the turn, Rochette is able to sneak inside of Mani and take over second place. The leaders have no problem with the tricky new off-camber section, but in the woods, Rochette isn't able to clear the log obstacle cleanly and loses a handful of bike lengths to Noble. No panic at all from the Canadian champ, and she's right back on the wheel and making moves of her own, taking over the lead at around the halfway point of lap one. Into the double trouble section, and it's looking similar to the battles we saw last year between Rochette and Noble. Keo remains in third spot with a little bit of a gap back to Mani in fourth. Jen Jackson has moved her way into fifth place with Hansinger in sixth. West has a little bit of an issue in 7th, which momentarily holds up Faringer still in 8th. Sammy Runnels is sticking with the leaders in ninth. At the planks, Rochette has a slight lead over Noble, who has a bit of a gap over Keo in 3rd. Mani remains in 4th with Jackson right there. Faringer has moved her way from 8th to 6th, followed by Hansinger and West. Right after the plank section, Rochette attacks. In the relatively short distance from the planks to the steps, she increased her lead from practically no seconds to close to 11 seconds. Keo remains in 3rd place with the French-Canadian, but not French-Canadian battle going on for fourth. Faringer is in fifth with Hansinger in sixth. A half a lap later and Rochette is already in another time zone. She has left Noble and everyone else far behind with a strong move that has her up by 19 seconds. But the real action is happening behind, where Keo moves around Noble to lead the charge to try and bring back Rochette. Mani is in 4th, Jackson in 5th, Hansinger is still in 6th, with Runnels in 7th and Faringer in 8th. On the bike path, Keo has gapped Noble and Jackson is looking to move into 3rd. Mani is a few seconds back with Hansinger now eyeing the lead 5. Runnels and Faringer are not far behind. Back at the steps, the gap continues to grow. Keo remains in second with Mani working her way up to third. Jackson, fresh off mountain bike worlds in Mount St. Anne, has passed Noble and Faringer has moved past Hansinger. Four laps to go and we get a great look at how steep this new off-camber uphill section is. 
No problem for Rochette as she cleans it easily. Behind, Faringer has recovered from a slow start and has worked her way to the front of the chase group, with Keo now in third. Mani in fourth, and Hansinger and Runnels there too. Jackson and Noble have started to fall off the pace. As the group gets to the woods, it's the same order over the logs. On the run-up, the front of the chase remains the same with Runnels and Jackson battling for position at the back of the group. Fast forward a lap and we can see on the camera mounted Buckley cam that Hansinger has worked herself into fourth position behind Faringer who is following Keo. We're at double trouble and the action really is all in the chase group as Rochette is rolling along in a different zip code. Keo, Faringer, Hansinger and Mani are grouped closely together fighting tooth and nail for those final podium spots. Back at the lock section and Rochette is through safely. Behind her, Farringer dismounts the first log and Keo, staying on the bike, is able to keep her momentum and make the high side pass before the run-up to take over second. Hansinger and Mani remain with that pair. A little farther back, Courtney McFadden has fought her way up to Sammy Runnels and is battling for sixth position. Crystal Anthony has also worked her way into the top ten. On the next lap, it's Clara Hansinger who has leapfrogged over Farringer and Keo, who continue to battle, to take over sole possession of second place. On the second half of Double Trouble, in the final laps of the race, Rochette is through with E. Behind her, Hansinger continues to lead the chase. Keo is in third, and Faringer gets it a bit wrong on the descent and loses a few more seconds as she regroups. Lap and a half left, and Rochette is gone. The battle is for second, and Keo is not going to give up the fight. She is right on Hansinger's wheel at the run-up. Faringer has also recovered and is in striking distance with Mani a few seconds farther behind. Under one lap to go, and Hansinger has upped the pace again and distanced herself from Keo, Faringer, and Mani. Final time over the flags for Rochette, and she can see the finish line from here. Hansinger continues in second, but Keo is starting to reel her back in with just about a third of a lap remaining in the race. Farringer and Mani continue behind, but barring disaster, the podium seems to be set. The order, however, has yet to be decided. And no real suspense here as Magli Rochette takes Rochester Cyclocross for a third straight time in commanding fashion. Clara Hansinger puts in a huge ride to distance herself from Keo and earns second place. Keo finishes third with Faringer fourth and Mani in fifth. And here are the rest of the top 11 in Rochester Cyclocross. advantage of the fact that I was feeling good and that I was having fun so it was a good day and thank you everyone for cheering that made it extra special and that's it from Saturday's UCI women's pro race at Rochester cyclocross 
much more to come from Rochester, so please subscribe to the channel and tell your cyclocross friends to do the same. For CX Hairs and the Wine Angle Podium, I'm Bill Scheichen. See you soon, cyclocross friends.